Hotel, Echo, Lima, Lima, Oscar, Alpha, Gyro, Alpha, Indigo, November. Yes, it's hello again from your host, your guy, the one and only and truly. Yes, DLG Reppin. You see the subscribe button there? Short for D. Delet London Guna, Space, Romeo, Echo, Papa, Papa, Indigo, November. Once again, before I get started with another DLG Reppin's Daily Transfer News. Smash the thumbs up like button. That's what I was meant to say the first time. Leave your positive messages, your views, etc. in the comment section below. Positive feedback is what I promote. Um, smash um, the share button for me galore, virally, all over the globe, especially to your friends and your relatives. And tell them about um, myself, DLG Repping, and what I'm doing and how I'm holding this football channel. And make sure if there's anyone that you know are watching for the first time, tell them to share this channel for the first time. And again, if there's anyone watching, yeah, for the first time, subscribe to the channel. That's myself and I only, DLG Repping. Let's push this to over a thousand subscribers and beyond. Let's keep it going, yeah? And like I said, I'm looking to um, hit the musical in intro as well as the editing. So, another DLG Repping um, transfer um, daily. And um, who else to start off with? With our good friend, our best friend nearly, Dusan Flavich. Now, I'm hearing reports that we are close to agree in this big sum of um, transfer for this, for this guy. Now, his agent is what, what I think he is, beginning with C, but I'm not going to swear. Um, I just want him to sack that idiot agent of his. He just says a lot of things, you know. He, he just wants to hold him back. If he decides that he wants to play for Arsenal... That's Mr. Vlaovic himself. So be it. Get used to it. He's a goal scorer. He's what we're looking for. And um, Arteta sees him as the direct replacement for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. So um, I'm keeping tabs on this. This might happen at the end of the month. Now, where we're short as well is midfield. And I say midfield because we've only got P Patino and Lokonga to start. And... Um, Mikel Arteta has um, put in a request for Arsenal to cancel the NLD um, on Sunday. That's the North London derby. So we'll sh we shall see how it goes. I mean, Tottenham might not agree to it and I don't expect them to agree to it. But that's another story for another day. However, uh, Arthur Millo. Now, he's more likely to be a loan deal with a view to a permanent one. Um, I don't know too much about him, except for the fact that he's a Brazilian international, age 25, and he is a central midfield player. So he comes with experience. But um, according to what I've read, he's not played a lot of um, first-team football. Um, another guy that springs to mind um, is um, Renato Sanchez. Now, for those of you that watch Premier League football, of course, all over the world, you remember him at his time at um, Swansea. And Swansea City fans, if you want to comment on him, um, my comment section is free below. So have your say and let's have a discussion. That's calling out all Swansea fans. Um, since he went to Lille, um, he's become a key player for them. And I think he was a key player in their league and title success, if I am corrected. If not, then leave it in the comment section below. Um, he's a competitive midfield player, someone who comes with physicality. And a bit of an aggression as well in the tackle. So that's what we need in that midfield. Because we're, we've are we allowed Ainsley Maitland-Niles to go. And I don't understand why we allowed Ainsley Maitland-Niles to go. It's stupid. Completely stupid from the football club. What can I say about Arsenal? That is a stupid move. Because Partey and El Nene, two central midfield players, who are always going to go to the African Cup of Nations with, along with Pepe and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Not that. We are bothered whether he goes or not. We know how the outcome. We know how the outcome um, came to mind, and let's not talk about it here. Um, 
Jonathan David. Now, there's been some strong rumours, maybe reports that um, Edu Gaspar himself is pushing for this deal. And I think he's pushing for this deal to happen possibly this month. And I don't think it's realistic. It's not going to happen. I'm just being realistic. I don't see this deal happen. I'll be surprised if Jonathan David becomes an Arsenal player by um, around the end of this month. If not, it will happen in the summer. And I expect us to be more busy in the summer. But for now, we are short of midfielders. And, whoa, we need to, um, yeah, fix that area of the pitch. Um, another um, rumour. Whoa, there's been a lot of talk about Yuri Tillemans turning down the, um, the latest contract offer. And that um, could open the door. That could um, ring the bells of bigger clubs like Liverpool, the Arsenal, with all due respect to Leicester City. Now, um, we don't know what Yuri Tillemans has said since then, but Arsenal have shown a strong interest. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get him. I honestly wouldn't. All right, we are competing for the top four. Yes, we're in a cup semi-final with a great opportunity to advance. Yes. The progress is um, going quite well. However, um, will Yuri Tillemans be attracted to Arsenal? Or is it just London? Because we don't want him to be attracted to London. I hope he's attracted to the Arsenal project. And um, if he does decide to sign for us, he will bring something different to the midfield. You just get rid of um, that waste of space. Liability called Granite Jacka. Now, for me, I want him gone in the summer. I just don't see why we should keep someone who's just self-destructed, a complete self-inflicted nuisance and a liability. Time after time after time, he will just let you down. He'll let the club down. He'll let the, his players down. He'll let himself down. In fact, he'll let the fans down, as he does all the time, especially like, like the other night. I am not too pleased with his um, behaviour. His, his lack of professional... It's just his behaviour overall. Not so much his professionalism, but his behaviour. Enough of him. Um, another player that um, could be out somewhere down the line, whether this month or in the summer, Eddie and Ketia. Strong talks have happened between Crystal Palace and... Arsenal, so it seems, it seems to me Vieira and Crystal Palace are really pushing to have this deal done by this month. From now to the end of this month, that um, Eddie Nketiah could be leaving Arsenal to become a Crystal Palace player. Now, Vieira has not made any secrets about it. I think he's kept it really coy. And um, Crystal Palace have made quite a lot of noise about it by the impression I'm getting. With Eddie Nketiah, he hasn't signed a contract extension. Why should he be playing for the Arsenal? I don't get the idea of starting him in games. He shouldn't be starting games. But yet, following Balogu, has just joined Middlesbrough on loan. And I'd rather start him. He needs game time. Well, why can't he play for the Arsenal? Why does Eddie Nketiah still has to be picked to play for the Arsenal. He doesn't offer us enough goals. All he offers us is all he does offer us is just work rate. I get it. But he's not a goal threat. You don't feel that he's gonna put the ball into the back of the net every time he's put through on goal. Or when a cross comes in, he's missing simple headers. For me, he's a nice guy. He has to um, call it an end someday. And he refuses to sign a new deal. So, for me, let's get him out of the door. ASAP. Let's let's get um, enough. In whatever Palace offer, let's take it. You know, we can't afford to make money out of um, Eddie and Ketia. We've got to be grateful to take what we can from Crystal Palace. And we're holding out for... If we're holding out for 20 million then we're, we're looking prophetic. We're making ourselves look so pathetic. Let's be real. If we get 10 million for 
Eddie and Ketia, I'll take that. I'll literally bite both hands off for that amount of money. Use it and put it in the um, safe account. Because uh, he's just not good enough. He wouldn't get into Leeds. He wouldn't get ahead of um, Bamford in at Leeds United. He wouldn't get ahead of um, Pukki. He'd struggle to get ahead of uh, Palace strikers itself. But yet Palace won him. So you know what? Give us the money and you can have him. Do what you want with him. Anyway, um, this is a short um, daily transfer for myself, DLG Repin. I'll be out of here right now. So I'm going to wrap it up and say, ladies, gentlemen, boys to the girls, once again, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much for um, listening. And as I always say, saving the best to last. Thanks for putting up with me. Um, I'll be back hopefully tomorrow um, with a preview of the North London derby, depending if it's on. And I don't look forward to picking up that, that team, especially in the midfield area. Oh, it's horrible. Excuse me. <coughs> That's a horrible part of the area. And um, there's no, we need experience for that fixture, especially away from home. There's going to be 60 odd thousand. <coughs> Excuse me. There's going to be 60 odd thousand Tottenham fans screaming and urging their team on. That's the 12th man. And we're up against that 12th man. However, um, take care of your friends, take care of your relatives, take care of yourselves. Peace again, love again, and bless again. Always the free um, loving words. Until next time, DLG Repping will talk again. Just please be nice. And before I go, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all of that for me, yeah? All is good. Just please be nice.